In this video I'm going to talk about the simple slider element. In case you don't know how it looks like, go to elements and sorry, no, go to sliders and simple and modern slider. Now, this one is and this one are uh, the same element but with uh, different uh, styles. So first I'm going to explain about the simple and classic uh, slider because this one is actually uh, included from the previous versions of uh, Kalias actually from the beginning and it was based on a flex slider but we've changed it to use another uh, uh, another uh, slider script because uh, of course we wanted to improve the performance of the website and as you can see uh, we have a lot of sliders and we actually uh, figured out that we can pretty much uh, have the same uh, script for multiple sliders and just style them differently now in case you're wondering this is the simple and modern slider it's as you can see it's much more uh, I don't know uh, trendy for this year and not necessarily more special this one is I don't know looking looking not necessarily better I think better is just a subjective uh, statement so it just look different much more modern I think it's actually just a matter of taste uh, between them so as you can see this one can have some uh, navigation some thumbnail navigation and some simple uh, captions right here well this one has a label has a, a caption right here a learn more button navigation and a bullets navigation now both elements are uh, full uh, elements because they also include the this uh, background and the feature of changing this bottom mask as you can see this one is different than this one but they can also both have this mask and they both ha can have this mask uh, as well now to uh, to explain better I'm just going to create a new page I'm going to call it simple slider demo page enable the page builder publish and we'll edit this page with page builder so now we have a clean page I'm going to search for the simple simple slider as you can see here formally flex slider I'm going to add it to the canvas as you can see uh, I cannot uh, reach the options for this uh, slider so I'm going to hide for the moment the header and access the options of the slider so first we have a slider height option you can specify the the uh, the height of the the images you can uh, choose a style for the moment I'm just going to leave uh, it as classic the slider transition whether you want fade crossfade or simply slide I'm going to choose slide the slider speed actually the slider duration something like uh, the the in case you want to autoplay the carousel um, this this will be the timeout between uh, slides in this particular example 5000 milliseconds mean uh, 5 uh, seconds so uh, like I said we have an autoplay uh, carousel we can uh, choose the slider navigation I will uh, leave it uh, enabled the slider bullets I will leave it enabled and you can also specify whether you want the thumbnails or not and last we have the option of uh, the shadow style now not sure if the shadow is this example does not have the shadow but this one I'm not yeah is not really visible there's a, a shadow behind so I'm just going to leave it uh, enabled then we have uh, the background and styles options 
now in case you you wonder uh, actually uh, I'm just going to quickly explain about them because there's actually um, a full video presenting these options uh, which is which are very common in common into the uh, into many many elements so I'm just going to uh, create actually switch actually populate with some uh, with with uh, some uh, options for for the sake of uh, customization I don't know I'm just going to add this image I'm going to set no repeat cover as background side like I said watch the video called background options for elements and left top okay no repeat good and select a background color over overlay I will choose a horizontal uh, horizontal gradient I'm going to say red yeah make it a bit more powerful and I can just leave this one like this increase the opacity and I will select a mask right here vector mask for align to the right now because I haven't added any any um, slides uh, there will be no change so I'm going to access the slides configuration and add the uh, slides so first I'm going to start adding as you can see we have a toolbar here you can delete move uh, or clone an element I will just practically do something uh, quickly let me choose ah, let me I'll just choose a few images it doesn't matter really I'll say just a title here a link and say uh, just a link the label label here and the slide labor color now as you can see here this option is applied only for the modern style for the moment I'm going to leave it uh, red like this but it doesn't really matter for the classic uh, style so I'm going to clone this again like I said I can move them around let me just uh, change this image here these images are portraits so they will look uh, bad actually because we have a wide uh, example here and like I said we can sort them around and I'm going to save the element so as you can see it's loading is displaying that uh, background that I customized with uh, red uh, to dark the image is right here slided and the mask right here so now I'm going to change this style to modern and as you can see this is the slider element not too complicated it's actually very simple to be used if you have any questions uh, feel free to ask me and if you uh, have any troubles with the elements simply subscribe to our support forums and my colleagues will uh, assist you there so thanks for watching and see you in the next one <music>